in one minute, I'm gonna teach you about ACLS or advanced cardiovascular life support used to manage cardiac arrest. Your first priority in ACLS is high quality CPR, which means doing chest compressions that actually help circulate blood. Compress at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute, the tempo for staying alive. Every two minutes, perform a pulse and rhythm check and determine if the rhythm is shockable because time to defibrillation is critical. Your shockable rhythms are V-fib, which shows chaotic irregular waves on ECG, and VTAC or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, which shows wide monomorphic QRS complexes on ECG. Non-shockable rhythms are PEA, which looks like regular electrical activity on ECG, just without a pulse, or asystole, aka flatlining. Manage non-shockable rhythms by doing good CPR and giving epinephrine every three to five minutes. And don't forget airway management. As soon as you begin CPR, give patients oxygen via bag masking and if needed, proceed to intubation. To identify and treat reversible causes of cardiac arrest, remember the five H's and five T's. If a pulse returns, it's called return of spontaneous circulation. And that's it. Check out the full lesson at sketchy.com.